So while I'm in this bumper to bumper traffic, I'm just gonna go ahead and test out the sound system for you. Go oh, bud. I'm gonna talk anyway. Oh. I'm on my way. Come and go, but where you end up space gone, who you know, got it on myself, making this a must for my hell time, I'm on my way, this is only getting started, my career I got a stick, from those who want it, sharks in the water, I risk it all and caught it, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. So surprisingly, and I mean surprisingly, the sound quality of this bass system is actually really good for what it is you have to keep in mind this is a $17,000 sticker car brand new and honestly I could live with that sound system and I'm very picky about my sound system but I've been to some 30 $40,000 cars with bass systems that don't sound as good as this one does and by bass I mean just the the bare bones ones not the upgraded sound system by your name brands or things of that nature. So really impressive there. And for this to be a, a commuter car, which is really what it would be served its best purpose for, it's pretty, pretty decent in everything so far. But most importantly, fuel economy. So I said earlier that my nav on my Apple CarPlay wouldn't pull up because I was in a parking lot, but actually I just realized the phone that I'm using for that is not online, so it's not hooked up. Uh, I just used it basically to demonstrate in my video, so that's why the nav won't pull up on there, but it will work if you have um, a connected phone. So. Keep in mind this LX, with it being so cheap, this one does not come with cruise control. But you do have the steering wheel, audio controls and all of that, so something to keep in mind. But I'm actually gonna go ahead and put it into sport mode now. So the sport mode just keeps the revs higher than normal. And that focuses on keeping the, the engine hot as opposed to staying in the lowest gear to save on fuel economy. But it's actually pretty useful. I'll take the sport mode back off. And surprisingly, even though I got up to about 75, 76 miles an hour, the ride was not harsh at all. And it's not that windy out today, but I have pretty good control of the car with minimal and I say that with a grain of salt I didn't feel any sort of shake or vibration whatsoever driving that fast on the interstate but on a windier day that may be an issue but right now it hasn't been I just want to put that little disclaimer there <laughs> but 
but that'll bring me to an end of my review of the 2021 Kia Rio in the LX trim level.